everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tess and as you can see from the title of this video, I will be giving you my December update. Um, I'm not as organised as I usually like to be, but I haven't been feeling great. I hurt my back on my way home from Queensland and have been pretty restless at night and not getting a lot of sleep. But that doesn't matter. I'm just giving a pre-warning that it might be a bit of a mess. Um, so let's try and get standard format. Um, as at the end of December, I finished the year with 109,470 stitches. Less than I was aiming for with the 200, but more than I ever actually expected to achieve. Um, and in the month of December, let's just, sorry, fixing my formula because apparently it was broken. Um, it's already a hot mess. I'm sorry, guys. Zoom more so I can read. There we go. In the month of December, I managed 3,319 stitches. Not a lot, but it was December. We had Christmas time. I went up to Queensland to visit family. Um, we were very fortunate that at the time COVID was not really an issue and I forgot how much work young children were. So while I was sit staying at my sister's house, I got almost no stitching done. But that's okay. I maintain my daily. We're going to move on. First up, we have Haystack Sunset, um, Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by Jeff Pritchard. I'll put in the photos here. Um, I was hoping to get a colour finish, but again, I underestimated the time that children take and I did not get it. I did, however, manage 2,047 stitches and I'm still loving it. And I believe I ended the year, I posted it up, 61.95%, I think, and 31.45% complete overall, which is amazing and hoping to get that done by my birthday next year but again I'm being kind with myself and it is what it is um, next up I have three new starts I um what can I say it is what it is I'm not upset I started Apple Blossom Mini um, Heaven and Earth Designs I believe it was Marianne Broom should know this I've just done recorded my whip braid uh, dropping it. Sorry, I've done 109 stitches and I am using the method which Hannah Dowling uses and I absolutely love it. Um, the feathering is amazing. I don't know if I'll use Hannah's method for a lot of charts. Um, she pretty much stitches one stitch at a time, which I'm more than happy to do for this one but I think I'll sort of do a slightly modified version for myself just so I get a little bit more progress and it's not quite as slow going. Uh, next up, I've started Everflowering Garden by Al Forest Embroidery. I have tea dyed a piece of 32 count fabric. Um, Arma is the one who told me about this piece. I don't know if she's planning on stitching it next year because she is doing no new starts and I got a tiny start with 97 stitches but I'm absolutely loving it and it'll be interesting to see how I stitch because um, it's not full coverage so I'm being a little bit more mindful of which way I go to avoid gloss carrying and then last up I uh, started Rainbow Quilt by Peppermint Purple. I am using my own colours. I've picked three and I've sort of already mapped out where I'm going to be stitching them. This is on 14 count because unfortunately 
where I was staying. Wasn't able to find 18 count, but that's okay. And I managed 1,066 stitches. So that was all my stitching for um, the month of December. Not bad, obviously not as much as I would like, but family comes first and stitching is a hobby, not a chore. Are you all from here? Hey, baby. And we've got a visitor because this little one missed me while we're away. She did not like that we had family come and feed her and keep her company. And she's been quite a little bit annoying since we've returned. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes from last month to give me some sort of what's the word? order. Um, then next up, my regular purchases. I haven't received my silks yet. Um, but I do, sorry baby, I'm going to try and dodge the light. I'm borrowing my son's ring light that he got for Christmas. I think I might need to get one for myself because I'm very often found to be st recording this late at night. Um, so I do have the two Fortnite fabrics for the month of November. We've got this, oh, that doesn't even come close to showing the colours. I wonder if a different setting will help. Clearly I know nothing about this. No. No. So it's a beautiful lavender colour and I love that it's called Mum. Beautiful. I've got to find the perfect for that because it's just stunning. And then um, I think it's Dryad Saddle. Um, and again, it's not showing the colour true, but it is beautiful. Then I had, I'll do just my normal purchases first, I think. Then I will go through, I got the silks for use 12 days of Christmas. And then I got some beautiful um, happy mail. So first up, my purchases. Kind of excited about this. I bought a cone. So it is a cone of 310 because who doesn't need it? And I've actually got two cones of 939 on order because I've got a lot of charts that use 939. And I actually think I need more of that in bulk than I do the black, but absolutely love. I'm just trying to figure out how to put this onto my Annie's um, or to put it into my twists. I want to try and have it measured out into the eight meters like the DMC just so I know if I'm kidding something up that if I pull eight twists it actually is eight skeins. Um, so short of measuring it each time, if you've got any ideas please feel free to let me know down below because I am worried about a certain little someone playing with it if I measure out eight meter lengths um, but yeah very excited to have that and then the this is one happy mail but it was very happy we got together the Mittagong stitches um, in Mittagong to have a little Christmas thing we did a swap and I got this beautiful piece from Michelle Mitch Stitch. Super clever. Absolutely love it. Beautiful little beads. Super clever Michelle. Thank you again. And then I got lovely mail from sorry, Christy. Um Mum of Two Monsters, I think I will link her below. Beautiful Christmas card. The most adorable little needle minder. Some adorable counting pins, which these all come to good use, I'm sure. 
and then this beautiful little ornament, double sided. Thank you so much, Christy. And then I also got a beautiful package from Jay. Love it. Glitter is not my friend, but that is just adorable. And then I got some Gloriana thread. And this, oops, it's light sitting on it. Cord. Should be more organized. Stunning piece of stitching. Just amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. So much appreciated. I wish I was organized as you all so I could return the favor because I'm a hot mess. Um, let's jump in to Silks for You, um, Silk 12 Days of Christmas. Or, sorry, I'm trying to be. not happening um I'm not I haven't seen um anyone show these yet but that being said I'm also woefully behind on floss tube so apologies if this is a repeat because I guarantee I'm not stick showing as nicely as some day one beautiful owl needle minder Quite difficult to show. My organization has kind of been messed up. Um, day two, got this beautiful skein. This light isn't showing the colors, I'm sorry. It's pretty, just trust me. Everyone knows that silks is pretty. Um, day three was this silk ribbon. I have no idea what to do with silk ribbon but the colors go together beautifully uh, day four oops, I've lost hopefully I've kept these these are silk pearl number eight again the colors are going together beautifully I may have mixed these two up. Apologies. Day five was this gorgeous scissor fog. Day six, trying to put them in some semblance of pretty, were these silks. The colors just aren't showing through. Day seven was this silk, as well as uh, this chart. Love. And there's also instructions on how to stitch that somehow. Um, then day eight was this needle holder. It did also have a needle minder on top. I don't know if it's hiding in my silk, if it's in my notions bag or somewhere else because as you can see I'm already using it. It comes with a magnet in the lid which I have done in the past with one I had. This one. But theirs is made of glass and so much nicer. So I love that. Um, then what are we up to? Day nine was this beautiful color. Absolutely love it. And it is, um, I don't know how much, but quite a substantial amount. Trying to keep it somewhat tidy. Day 10 were these beautiful colors when I get them organized. Uh, 
absolutely darling and again you can't see but they I'm pretty sure this variegated one has all these three colors in it so that is beautiful day 11 was another large amount of a beautiful red love this color and then day 12 the final day was a beautiful green and this one is a larger amount than the other two so I definitely need to find something to use all of the pretties for absolutely lovely it was super exciting opening something every day um, but yeah I think that is it other than my plans for January I am going to attempt to wrap my head around the magical stitches because I would love to participate in that group um, I'm doing whip go so I've got the two whips obviously called I'm going to put in 210 stitches in each at least um, obviously haystack sunset I would like to do some more in peppermint purple and try and I don't think I'll keep up because I will be doing eight maybe nine um, squares a week which it won't happen but I'd like to do something um, I've also figured out what I want to do for my 24 hours of cross stitch in my plans video I did um, mention maybe doing a 12 hours and I was trying to think up of a name with it um, while watching Hannah's video and she was talking about the semi-sane stitches with the whip wranglers and rolling the d20 it came to me so I'm going to be doing the d20 hours of cross stitch and I will put in no, you don't care um, I did do a little um, tiny decisions app where I picked my whip and I just used the app to roll the d20 I do have one but just so I could have it sort of in the same recording uh, and I believe it's pandemic for 16 hours so I want to put a few hours into that because ideally I'd like at least one a month if not more I think that's it for January I've made two new starts so I wouldn't mind continuing to work on them and also you my whip parade will be coming out soon I've got a lot of whips that just haven't received any love in 2020 so I would like in 2021 to touch them at least once which is a lot I think it's more than it's more than one whip a week um, especially as I keep adding more but I'm excited for 2021 I'm excited to see what my stitching journey will become because who knows what's going to happen. Until next time though guys, bye. Happy stitching.